So I need to recognize the object is defined by the object identification. Now let us see this Bain edit. What makes QTP to recognize only with the native class, not with the attached text? Let us try to understand that now. I'll say OK. I'll try to now spy on that object. The object now I'm going to spy is now the name object where he has recognized with both properties and this edit box of calculator where he has recognized with only one property. I spy on that now. First I am spying it on the calculator. In this calculator I spy. You can see now the attached text property is having an empty value. There is no value associated. That is why he has ignored that property. And with the edit class itself, he is able to recognize the object uniquely because within this calculator, within that calculator, that object is unique. Class itself is sufficient for him to recognize the object. And since attached text doesn't have a value, he ignored that second property to recognize. Because attached text doesn't have a value, edit box for this window, edit box is only one edit box is available and there is an uniqueness maintained with that edit class itself. So I recognize with class only. So this is the way I recognize, that is why I recognize with attached text, sorry, only name class. If I try to spy it on the so-called flight reservation, in this flight reservation, name box, you can see now attached text is name and edit as a class there are more than one object present. In the window there are more than one object present for edit class. So big, you can see now this flight number everything is more than one edit box is there. That is why he is not able to recognize that as a name property, attached text property is important for him to identify that object uniquely. Right? So this is, all the, this is how an object is recognized. Is this part clear to you? Is this part clear to you? Raise your hand. Fine. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to change the configuration and we are going to see how QTP recognizes object. For example, this button 1, it is now recognized with window ID. I am trying to configure, in, I don't want windows ID, I want something else. I want to change it. So again go to tools, go to object identification. In object identification, I select the appropriate adding. In our case, it's a standard windows adding. I select this win button because this is what we are trying to change now. I now try to change, interchange text to the mandatory property, windows id to the assistive property. I just try to change that. I, I select this window id, uncheck it and I add the windows id to the right, remove the text, add the window id to the right. And here I add the text. Now I have added now. So I have now interchanged the assistive property to mandatory property, mandatory property to assistive property, only the text property I have interchanged. I say OK now. Now I try to recognize the object. Same object I am trying to recognize again. Same object I am trying to recognize again that is button 1. I click on add object to local. I place my hand onto that calculator window. I am placing my hand onto that calculator window button 1. Click OK. I got this win button in the object selection window. I say OK now. Now the object you can see now there is an index added, prefix added 1 underscore 2. And you can see that now the text property 1 
text property is one native classes button it has now changed my recognition methodology so what you see to the left hand side is called logical name one underscore one underscore two these are all logical names logical names are not the actual object actual object is highlighted if I want to highlight this object if I want to highlight this object the object is highlighted using description properties The description properties are the one which helps QTP to recognize the object in the application under test. So logical name is a reference for the QTP to identify the object uniquely. Now what will happen if I click on this button if I try to highlight this which is recognized with the window ID and the class whether it will recognize or not. Answer is it will recognize as well. If I try to highlight it you can now see that that button one is used highlighted I again doing it so the button one is being highlighted now into your screen so even though the window ID is no longer the current configuration of the recording identification so current configuration is text property that you see it in the one underscore two so what how what is the principle behind this for all recording newly add newly added objects I will see what is the configuration set for that object I use those configuration to record those objects so for the new objects it was text and native class with this two QTP is able to identify the object uniquely so I recognize at this level at the previous recording time it was with Windows ID so I recognize with the window ID so but how he is able to recognize with the both the object I try to spy on that particular button one I clicked on spy I select that button one now for you to understand I am selecting that button one now in this button one you can see now windows id window id 125 also exists for the button text property one also exists for that button with a combination of native class native class equal to button and with text property as a button or window ID as 125 he is able to identify the object uniquely since he is able to identify the object uniquely he is trying able to highlight that object replay on that object highlight means replay replay uses only description properties it doesn't use object identification mandatory or assistive properties recording users takes the help of object identification while adding the object to the repository please make a note recording users or takes the help of object identification to record the recognition properties as defined by the mandatory assistive in the object identification once it is added to the repository while replay repository uses description properties when I say description properties this is the description properties what you see here is the description properties and this description properties as long as it, this description properties matches the property value in the application under test QTP recognizes that object right so this is the principle behind how QTP records the object 